everyone, welcome. I have just received my Wax Melt subscription box in the post, so I'm ready to see what autumnal flavours I have got. So this is the Wax Melt only subscription box from the Ghost Family Flame, and I am expecting a lot of pumpkin spice and sweetness in this one, as it is the month of Halloween. So this box will contain, there should be 12 different smells, and there should also be some artwork because they have a very distinct artwork style. So I'm excited to see what they have put together for this spooky month. This one cost me £18.60, um, so it's like £15.50 then plus like tax or shipping or whatever to wherever you are. So let's not waffle on, let's just see what nice scents we have going in this month's box. Okay, so this is what we've got inside our box. And the first thing to notice is these little tubs. So last subscription box and when I've ordered wax melts from them before, they've just been in like black paper like this. But we've got little individual tubs for them this time. So that's interesting. But first up, I'm intrigued what's in this little baggie. So we'll open this up first. And we have got, first up a little woodcut pumpkin, a little ooky spooky pumpkin, and then a sticker. So we've got these little like pumpkin squids, little pumpkin squids, and it says it was always in the waters within the cold droplets of rain that lick the soil forever present. So it's just like a little sticker. And what I realised after last month is that basically it's a sticker that's on the sticker of the wax melts. Because when you had the paper ones, you didn't want to rip them and ruin the sticker. That's why they give you a big one of it. So clever. Now, next up, let's have a look at what our artwork for this month is. And it looks like we've got like a proper one. Like, not that they're not normally proper, but like a, instead of postcardy type, we've actually got this big proper artwork. I'm not very good at words today, so I apologise in advance. But this has got, again, these like pumpkin sprites or like water devils that are kind of looking like. They're like surrounded by lily pads and it's got that same quote on the bottom. It's like these dancing pumpkin spirits. It's kind of interesting. I think I like the cute little pumpkin squid the best. It's nice to have like a bigger artwork. We normally get like small postcard size prints in boxes. So it's quite nice to have something bigger. Though I have no picture frames that will fit it, but I'll figure that out later. So let's move on to what flavours of wax we've got this month. So the theme is the glory of October. And I'm seeing lots of names which are to do with pumpkins and sweet things. So it's definitely going to be that kind of thing. First up, we've got one called Pumpkin Picking. Which, oh, it's got a cute little dry pumpkin in the top. Cute, oh, yep, and that just smells of like classic pumpkin pie spice. Yep, the descriptions don't always tell you the exact notes that are in it, um, but the description sometimes gives it away. I'm not going to read the whole descriptions because we'll be here forever, but this one does say the perfect pumpkin for my pie, so it definitely is like classic pumpkin pie smell. So that's quite nice. I think there's going to be a lot of like comforting, warming scents this month. Next up we've got Ghost Stories. And that's a sweet one. That's like vanilla marshmallows. Gather around the fire to toast mallows under the moon. So yeah, that's a very like sweet smell. Next one sounds like it's going to be sweet as well. Sugar maple. And it's got some cute little maple glitters in there. And yeah. That's definitely maple syrup. That is a very, very, very sweet syrupy smell. That smells exactly as the name would suggest. We then got without pumpkin, which I think does have pumpkin in it. And again, we've got these cute little pumpkins embedded in. I think it has got pumpkin. It's like a more subtle, woody version of the first one, I think. Yeah, that's another like a sweet pumpkin warming smell. The Candy Slayer, which has got some little jack-o'-lantern glitters. Striped hard shell candles laid with spun sugar. It does smell of sweets, 
I feel like it reminds me of a specific sweet, but I can't think which one. Hmm, it's very like familiar smelling, but I can't tell you exactly what it is. There's something. This is something. Harvest Hauntings, which is Sense of All Hallows Eve, Baked Treats and Pumpkin Hats. That to me smells like a clean man smell. Like a man that's very well groomed and wears proper cologne. It's very like masculine. It's clearly not supposed to, but it's supposed to smell of like Halloween night. But it kind of just smells of sexy man, if you know what I mean. So yeah. Next we have Gordy's Hayride. I can open it. Greeted by sweet tall grasses and vines underfoot. I mean that one's pretty as well. That one smells really nice. It's got like little filaments in it. I'm not quite sure. They look almost saffrony, but I'm expecting there's something else. But that's quite pretty. And it's got a very pretty smell as well. They just have like a baked smell, but also like something like sweet floral. That's a very pretty scent, I would describe that one as. Next, Hecate's Cloak which is notes of gentle cotton, starlit, starlit shrouds and incense, if I can open her. Mm, that is completely different to any of the others. This is like a clean, clean smell. We definitely get that cotton and something like resinous in the background. It smells like a fancy hotel bathroom, is how I would describe it. Pumpkin remains. Fire bounce spice with the undertones of root and earth. That is again quite a clean smelling one, say. There's something definitely earthy, but it's very like clean again. Falling leaves, which I think we had last time as well. Yeah, I swear I swear that's the same one that we had before. Which was actually one of my favourite ones from the last month's box. It's like a very apple-y smell, but then when you burn it, it's got quite a like resinous tone to it. It's got a very like incense, perfumey smell to it. And I think it's the same one, which I'm not mad about because like I said, I really liked it. But yeah, it's very like apple-y with just like undertones of very like heavy perfume. Next, Raining Bones. Mmm, that's a very like warming, comforting smell. It says it's for cosy drinks by the fire. And it's definitely got cinnamon. And I can smell that wood fire. And there might be some coffee in there. But it's very like comforting, I would say that one. That's like a... That's definitely got that cosy vibe of being inside during like a storm or something. Where you're like sat inside all nice and warm and cosy. That's that vibe. Next we've got Home for Halloween, which is pretty. This one's got gold leaf with its little pumpkin. Mmm, that smells nice as well. That smells familiar again. This is the problem. I literally just think everything smells familiar and can never figure out what it is. But it says it's sweet pumpkin, coffee and cake. I do think I get that cake. And a little bit, I reckon the coffee will come out more when you burn it. But it smells very nice. It's very like... Like I said, it's very familiar, but I can't, <laughs> that's not a very good description. But it's definitely very pretty smelling and very pretty looking. I'm loving all these ones with little bits inside them this month. But that was all of our scents. Um, I like these little tubs they've gone for this time because it's much more convenient to open them up and sniff them. Plus, reusable, basically free tubberware. What's not to love about that? There's also lots of cute little bits stuck inside them, which is adorable. Which, to be honest, are kind of annoying when you're burning them because you have to like fish them out. But they look very pretty, so I appreciate them. I also like that they have given you a few more of what the notes are on their scents list, which is useful for people like me because I'm useless at figuring out what my nose is smelling. And we've got a really big artwork this month. So overall, not a bad little box for the Halloween season. Very much looking forward to all these like warming, comforting smells being around. Not sure what they'll do for November, because I feel like in November we're officially out of that autumn-y, pumpkin-y season. So I'll have to wait and see what they come up with for then. 
but I'll definitely be back with that box so if you're interested please do stick around to see it but in the meantime I hope you have a great month and a very happy Halloween bye guys